These are the children of Northern Kenya's Malako Community Conservancy. Their home is a land of limited natural resources and they share it with some of the world's most unique wildlife, including the critically endangered Grevy zebra. In 2009, Zoos Victoria and the Northern Rangelands Trust launched a program to help the people and wildlife of Northern Kenya. 40 local women joined the program and began creating beautiful beadwork to be sold in Australia. Beads for Wildlife was born and has been changing lives ever since. I had an interesting time uh, at Malako and right throughout northern Kenya. Um, kind of a large guy so I found a lot of people were, were very scared of me actually. It was interesting. It was probably different to them what I expected. Uh, the little kids were hilarious as well. They'd come up and tap you on the shoulder to talk to you and then when you'd turn around they'd run off. Oh you're the people that help us with the beads. That's right. You help us. Thank you very much. Yeah everyone's like wants to come talk to you and wants to put beads on you and all the rest of it. It's yeah. It was, it was awesome. There was some part of me that thought maybe these are being built just for tourists, um, but actually going over there and seeing them all wearing the beads as well. Um, and this one's meant to go up here, but I've got two bigger arms. The men usually have like a simple neck bead, um, or a lot of them have like a leather bracelet bead, I suppose. You know, warrior beads and all the rest of it. Like they actually wear them as well. So not only is it a great souvenir visit to the zoo, but it's actually an authentic African you know, product that Africans wear. And also when the like, women dance, um, the beads make a very nice sort of like jingly noise. You've got to roll from the stomach and then up. So then your beads flop over. So it's all about having the little bits that hang off your beads so you can make more sound when you do the body rolls. Today, more than 900 women participate in the Beads for Wildlife program. It has given them and their families a choice the choice to shape their own future and the future of the Grevy zebra. So the main differences between the Grevies and the, the planes uh, is got to be their stripes. Um, obviously those beautiful thin pinstripes right down their body that stop on their stomach and leave that, that, nice white, uh, that nice white belly as well. The ears are a lot larger, they're fluffy and big. Um, the scouts and a couple of the guides over there pretty much called them Mickey Mouse ears. They're just, uh, they're just amazingly striking animals and I don't know, it was very, it's very, very hard to explain the, the way you, you sort of feel when you first see that first Grevy Zebra. As I say, you, you hear so much about Grevy Zebra and, and their plight and things and working here with plain Zebra and stuff. To, to see one, you sort of had to double take to make sure, hang on, no, 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 it is a Grevy Zebra I'm seeing. And you know, it, you sort of get lost with it for a second. So I think it probably took about 300 photos of the first one I saw, so. Livestock's reduced quite a bit over the last few years with the drought. Um, and that, for a long time, that was the only way people could earn an income. But now, um, with the beads coming in, there's probably not as much pressure on families to try and increase their livestock numbers. So that means reduced livestock, more um, you know, grazing area and more water for the wildlife now, and a more permanent income source for the families as well, using the beads. Basically, the money that the women get uh, as part of the sale of the beads will go to help uh, either their children go to school, help feed them. To be able to send these children to school by the sales of the beads has been um, a quite high impact. Got talking to one girl, Elizabeth, and if it wasn't for her mother um, doing these beads, she wouldn't be able to go to school. She was, um, I would say, 15, 16, um, and being the first female in her family to ever go to school, her excitement and her dreams were just touching on the fact that children here, their dreams are to play games on their DS's or computer games and her dream was to to be something more for her community. Nothing nothing changes you more than visiting um, you know I, I've got a greater appreciation for a lot of things uh, since coming back from uh, particularly northern Kenya. I suppose sometimes I tear up because it is so moving once you're over there and you understand um, just how vital the, these bead sales have been for them. And the fact that they are so, I guess, welcoming, as I said, of, of us, it just shows you what a difference we're making to them. So that was really good. You too can help the people and wildlife of Northern Kenya simply by purchasing a beautiful beaded product at our three zoos or online. One small gift can change a life.